So the captain is on sacred boat building country here. This is the Arsenali shipyards in Venice. From here, the Venetians built merchant ships and navy ships, and it was a big reason why they dominated the Adriatic and the Mediterranean Sea. And think about it, you've got this infrastructure, you've got these canals, you're defended by water, and you own the water. I mean, you own the era. This was the staging point for some of the great crusades. It's a place steeped in nautical history, so it's kind of poignant that we should be here to have a glimpse into the future. We're gonna take a look at a really interesting boat called the Race Bird. This is an electrically powered boat. It's a race boat, it runs on foils, and there's some very smart brains that have put this together. Hi everyone, I'm Rodi Basso. I'm the CEO of the E1, the only world electric boat championship. I'm Sophie Horn and I'm the signer of the race boat. Okay, I'm Eugenio Voltolino. I'm chief engineer and I'm project manager. The boat is about 7.5 meters long. Um, the weight is in the region of 1,000 kilograms, less than 1,000 kilograms, excluding the, the pilot. And the technology is coming straight from the motorsport and the supercar and hypercar segment of uh, the automotive. So efficiency is everything here. She, she gets up uh, on foil in no time. It's, it's quite impressive to see the way they, they can jump on foil, uh, on foil setup. We are, have been selecting 200 horsepower under 50 kilowatts, give it or taking, and the battery is capable of 37 kilowatt hour, which will allow us to have the race format that we have designed from the beginning. In terms of performance, we, um, the speed target is 50 knots. Oh, wow, well, 50 knots, it's not that fast. Well, first of all, it is electric, so it is quite fast at where we are today. Uh, over 50 knots in foiling is all very new, is a, you know, uncharted uh, uh, field. It takes a lot of research, everything changes. So at the moment, we managed with the first prototype to immediately reach the, the requested speed. From here on, it's a question of maneuverability, stability, and, uh, and then we'll see where we can get on. It's a new world that we are discovering. So coming from Oslo, main capital uh, of electric cars, uh, in the beginning, very cute and bubbly. And then I saw Formula E, and they did a great job with their cars, race cars, to make electric cars cool, sexy, sleek. Automotive started 15, 20 years ago. We reckon we are accelerating the electrification of the marine industry by at least 15 to 20 years. So we would like to have RaceBird being an example of the future of marine mobility. It's very important to understand that today, with this type of uh, structure engineering, this type of weights, this type of uh, uh, power, you can reach only with a bit more than 100 horsepower, you can top 50 knots, which is quite impressive. The same thing that happens in the, in the sail world with 10 knots of wind. Nowadays, with the foiling system, you can reach extremely high speeds. So I think as a designer, my task is to make something like Formula E did with the cars. Design, produce something that people naturally feel cool about. Um, heavily inspired by, by birds itself. You have airplanes, they're the same. Uh, it's all about the aer aerodynamics, uh, efficiency, going electric. So when you have something uh, futuristic looking and people are related to Star Wars, and you have the backdrop like Venice, and you bring the story together and you have that contrast, it's nothing uh, cooler, in my opinion. This is a carbon fiber uh, vessel, it's actually quite high tech for the uh, nautical standard because it's uh, a process of uh, uh, pre-preg, vacuum bag and uh, uh, post-cure, um, high temperature 
process, so it's really on top of the line of what could be a process for a racing uh, car. Uh, in the beginning, the boats and the foils, they had longer foils, uh, but then as you go on, you figure out that actually, when you look at the birds as well, on the glide mode, it's more efficient right above the surface. Uh, surface. So we actually shortened the foils uh, together with um, uh, Mar uh, Victory Marine. So we wanted to keep it simple, we wanted to make it extremely easy to tune, okay? Compared to an, an AC7, an American's Cup uh, system, this is a fixed foil system. So the only part that actually moves is the part that is attached to the drive. And we've been incredibly lucky to come across and select Victory Marine, who are engineering and building the boat. Mercury, who's helping us in the propulsion system, in the integration of new technologies into uh, our systems. Um, Simrad and Simap for all the data display and data intelligence uh, on board. And of course, Chrysler, the battery manufacturer, the heart of our project. We do this for uh, the sport, we do it for the technology, but especially we do it for uh, our kids, for the future generation. I want my kids to enjoy the water in the coastal areas of the world, as at least as I have done in my life. And I want to make sure that the future generation can keep enjoying the water mobility, navigating, which is the most inspiring and passionate things that you can do in your life. I reckon the Australian fishing boats will uh, go electric. In the next 10 years, there will be such a technology evolution, a new solution coming that will allow all the mobility on land, on water, on air, to make the switch to more efficient way to move around. And so even when you will be enjoying fishing, you can be sure that there will be less of an impact. And by the way, you will enjoy the silence also during the journey.